On this episode of Super Starts with Miss Rebecca, that's me, we'll be learning about the letter B, bugs, and bumblebees. B is for bumblebee. We will sing songs, read a story about a bumblebee bunny, go on a bug scavenger hunt, visit a bee farm, practice the letter B sound along with other preschool skills such as colors, counting, shapes, and more. Super Starts is an online preschool that gives little ones a super start to their early childhood education. Let's go! Can you clap your hands? 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 Can you stomp your feet? 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 Can you shake your head? 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 Can you wiggle your arms? 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 Great job. I feel like we're all warmed up for class today. We are learning about the letter B and bugs and most importantly, the bumblebee. Here we have a bumblebee. Bzzz. They have wings for flying. They have stripes. I see yellow. Ooh, very pretty little bumblebee. Bees are a bug too. And we have these other bugs here. Ooh, like a fly, an ant, ooh, a dragonfly. Ooh, they're quick flyers. And then we have a bumblebee right here too, another one. Now here's our letter B. Let's take a closer look at our letter B here. Oh, we have a butterfly, I forgot. We have a butterfly, flap, flap, flap. And butterfly starts with the letter B, B, B. Butterfly, B, B, B. But here is our letter B, B, B. As a letter, we have capital B. This is our big B, capital B. And our lowercase B, 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 B. Big B and little b, capital B, big B, and lowercase b, 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 b. And there's a picture of a b right here. It says b. B is for bumblebee, b, b, bumblebee, b, 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 bumblebee. That's the sound that the letter b makes. It goes b, 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 b. And all our B words start with that same sound. B, 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 Bumblebee, B, B, Butterfly. Cool. And then we're going to do some Bumblebee crafts and things today, too. Well, I'm excited. Let's get started. We're bringing home our baby Bumblebees now so that we can fly, dance, skip, and sing with them. Let's do it. I'm bringing home my baby Bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home my baby bumblebee. Oh wow, it's fuzzy. I'm flying with my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm flying with my baby bumblebee. Oh wow, it's up high. I'm dancing with my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm dancing with my baby bumblebee. Oh wow, it's wiggling. I'm skipping with my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm skipping with my baby bumblebee. Oh wow, it's yellow and black. I'm singing with my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm singing with my baby bumblebee. Oh wow, it's buzzing. I'm setting free my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm setting free my baby bumblebee. 
Bumblebee. Bye-bye, Bumblebee. Bye-bye. Let's make a letter B puzzle out of these pieces. We have three pieces, one, two, three, and each of these pieces have different things on them that all start with the letter B, like this one, B, B, Bear, and B, B, Biscuit, which is like a cookie, and B, B, Butterfly, which is a bug, and we're gonna learn about those today. Now on this piece, we have B, B, Baby, and we have b, b banana And I see we have the word for what's on this piece. And this is a b, b bicycle or a bike. Now let's put these pieces together to make our letter B. What should we do first? Hmm. Well, I'm going to start with the biggest piece first with our bear, biscuit, and butterfly. I can hear that b sound for all of these things. Okay. And let's see if we can attach this little one somewhere. Hmm, does it go here? That doesn't fit. What about here? Hmm, not quite. Well, maybe it'll go on the bottom right there. Ooh, that looks like a match. And now we've just got this piece with our b, -b baby and our b, b banana. Hmm, well, I see we have two little round parts here maybe they fit in right here. Let's give that a try. It all fits and there is our beautiful letter B. B, -b, -b. B for bear, biscuit, baby, butterfly, banana, and bicycle. And if we flip it over, our B is backwards, but it says B is for B, bumblebee. B, -b, 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 -b Bumblebee starts with the letter B. Can you make the B sound? B -b -b. Bumblebee is a bug. And both the words bumblebee and bug start with the letter B. And B makes the B, -b, -b sound. B -b bug starts with B. B, -b bug starts with B. B -b 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 Bug starts with B. B, -b, 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 -b bug. And bug is also an insect. A bug is an insect too. An insect is another word for bug. We're going on a bug hunt today in the park. There are 10 toy bugs that we need to find. They aren't real bugs, but they look really close to real. We're gonna find all 10 bugs and see what we can learn about them. Let's go. I wonder where the bugs are. I brought my magnifying glass so we can take a closer look at these bugs. I think I see one over here. Ooh. Right here. Okay, let's take a closer look at this guy. It's a bumblebee. Wow. A bumblebee has wings, stripes, yellow, and a dark color. It has antennas and three legs on each side. It has six total legs. Bumblebees are pollinators. They collect nectar and pollen from flowers and other plants to make honey. There is one bee in the hive that is the queen bee. The queen bee is the leader bee. Let's take a look at a bumblebee's life cycle. So this is our bumblebee. Now the queen bee will go and lay an egg in the hive in one of the cells. We have here a bumblebee egg, one egg all by itself in one of the cells of the hive. So let's put it there. After about three days, the egg hatches into a larva. This is a bumblebee larva. Okay. Now the bumblebee larva doesn't have any eyes and it doesn't have any legs. So the other bumblebees will bring it food so it can grow. Once the larva is big enough, it spins itself into a cocoon and becomes this, a pupa. It becomes a pupa. 
Inside the cocoon, it develops its legs, wings, and the rest of its body. So that is the next phase of our life cycle. So far we have egg, turns into larva, which turns into pupa. And then once it's done changing, it becomes a bumblebee and chews its way out of the cocoon. Here we go. And the life cycle goes around and around. Queen bee lays the egg, grows into the larva, which grows until it becomes the pupa in the cocoon. And then it grows into a full grown adult bumblebee. That is the bumblebee life cycle. How cool. All right, we found one bug so far. We found our bumblebee. Hey, I think there's another bug right here. Hmm. Take a closer look. What do you think that is? It looks like a bumblebee. It's a wasp. How do we know it's a wasp? Well, it has a much narrower body than a bumblebee does. Longer body here and longer legs. Bumblebees are rounder and they're fuzzy. This one is a wasp. Wasps are cool because they chew up wood to make papery nests that they live in. Let's go find another bug. Oh look. There's a bug right here. What do you think it could be? It's a centipede. Centipedes have many legs and they run really fast with their many legs. Did you know centipede, the name, means a hundred legs? But really, centipedes can have anywhere from 30 to 354 legs. That's a lot of legs. This was bug number three. Let's go find another bug. Oh, look, another bug. Whoa, get a closer look at this bug. This bug is red with black spots. What kind of bug do you think it is? Yeah, it's a ladybug. The most common coloration of ladybug in North America is red with black spots, just like this one. Let's check out the ladybug life cycle as well. A full grown ladybug will lay some eggs. They will lay about five to 30 eggs at once on something like a leaf. Let's put it right here. So there's our eggs on a leaf. When the egg hatches, it becomes a larva. Here is a ladybug larva. Look at that. It's got bright yellow on it. Let's put it here in our life cycle because it comes next. Now the larva will eat and eat until it's ready to grow and transform into a pupa. Here is our pupa. The pupa will attach itself to something like a leaf and stay still for a while so it can transform into a full grown ladybug. So it is here transforming and growing into a full grown ladybug. And then here's our full grown ladybug finishing our life cycle. So our life cycle begins with our ladybug that lays eggs and egg hatches into this larva. The larva becomes a pupa and the pupa then transforms into our full grown ladybug. How cool is that? The ladybug was bug number four. We've got four bugs so far. We got to find all 10. So let's keep looking. Oh, there's something right here. This bug looks like it's camouflaged into the dirt. There's dirt here. What bug is that? Take a closer look. It's 
So what bug do you think it is? Yeah, it's an ant. Here's a black ant. Did you know ants are one of the strongest insects there are? They can lift up to 20 times their body weight. Whoa, that's really strong. Ants also live with a queen ant, just like bumblebees have a queen bee. That's really cool. All right, this was bug number five. Let's go see if we can find number six. Onward. We're looking for bug number six. Oh, look, right here, I found a bug. What bug do you think it is? Tricky one. It's a grasshopper, yeah. Grasshoppers have really big back legs that are really strong. They can jump and hop really high and really far. Did you know grasshoppers also have a set of wings so that when they jump, they can fly even farther and they can even hover. Grasshoppers are actually flying insects. Cool. Onward to the next bug then. Oh, right here, there's another bug. Bug number seven. Here we have a fly. It's just a fly. Ooh, this one's got a bit of a shiny green color to it. Did you know that a fly tastes things with its feet? Yeah, it tastes things with its feet. That's pretty cool. Flies have short lifespans. A regular house fly lives for only 30 days. All right, that was bug number seven. Let's go find the next one. We're hunting for bugs. Here we come. Do you see any bugs? Over here? No? Over there? You mean right here? Oh, there is a bug right here. Bug number eight. What bug do you think this one is? Did you say dragonfly? Yeah, you're right, it's a dragonfly. Ooh, dragonflies are really speedy flyers. They can fly really fast. Dragonflies can also fly in any direction. They can fly forward, backwards, up, down, and any direction while facing forward. They can even hover in one spot. What magnificent flyers they are. Bug number nine, where are you? Hmm. There's another bug right here. Hmm, come have a closer look. What kind of bug is that? Yeah, what insect is this? What insect is this? Did you say spider? Yeah, it's a spider. Spiders have eight legs, and this one has eight legs, and is black and white. Now, spiders can be lots of different colors and different sizes and shapes, but they all have eight legs. Spiders make webs like this one here so that they can catch other insects to eat. How cool is that? Well, this was bug number nine, so we have only one bug left. Let's go find it. One more bug to find. Hmm, where could our number 10 bug be? I see something. Let's get a closer look and see if this is a bug. Whoa, what insect is that? You're right, it's a butterfly. Wow, butterflies are so cool. Now this is a full grown butterfly, which could then lay an egg and the egg hatches into a caterpillar and then the caterpillar forms a chrysalis 
to evolve into a butterfly. So that's the butterfly life cycle. Butterflies can be lots of different colors and different sizes. Wow, so cool. Hey, we found all 10 bugs. Good job bug hunting. Bumblebee Bunny by Rebecca S. Fox. On the first day of school, bunnies will look their best. Mama Bunny will wake me up and help me to get dressed. A bumblebee is busy, but can a bumblebee be brave? Goodbye, Mama. I give her a hug and an anxious wave. At school, I see blocks for building, toys for playing, and paints for painting. I am nervous to meet other bunnies, but eager to get creating. I want to meet a brand new friend, to feel as though I belong. I feel brave when I'm busy, courageous and free, so I'll sing my bumblebee song. If I could be a bumblebee, I'd be a bunny too. I'd be a busy bumblebee and fly over to you. Buzz! I say hello to Butterfly Bunny. She asked me to build blocks for fun. We build and build and build some more, building until we are done. I want to meet a brand new friend to feel as though I belong. I feel brave when I'm busy, courageous and free, so I'll sing my bumblebee song. If I could be a bumblebee, I'd be a bunny too. I'd be a busy bumblebee and fly over to you. Buzz! I say hello to Dragonfly Bunny. He asked me to play toys for fun. We play and play and play some more, playing until we are done. I want to meet a brand new friend, to feel as though I belong. I feel brave when I'm busy, courageous and free, so I'll sing my bumblebee song. If I could be a bumblebee, I'd be a bunny too. I'd be a busy bumblebee and fly over to you. Buzz! I say hello to Ladybug Bunny. She asked me to paint for fun. We paint and paint and paint some more, painting until we are done. Mama is there as my first school day ends. I can't wait to show her. I painted all of my friends. I hand her my painting. It's colorful, joyful, and sunny. Mama smiles and is proud of her brave bumblebee bunny. That was a fun story. Okay, questions for you about the story. Who was the main character in the story? Yeah, it was Bumblebee Bunny. And where did Bumblebee Bunny go? Where did Bumblebee Bunny go in the story? Yeah, to school. It was their first day of school. What was Bumblebee Bunny worried about? What was Bumblebee Bunny worried about when going to school? Hmm. Yeah, they wanted to feel like they belonged. They were a bit scared and nervous to go, I think because they didn't know anyone. And so they were nervous. So how did Bumblebee Bunny actually make friends at school? Bumblebee Bunny went and said hi. They went up to the other bunnies and said hi. And then the other bunnies asked if they wanted to play. And so they played, and that's how Bumblebee Bunny made friends. Saying hi or saying hello is the first thing to do when you see someone new that you want to try and make friends with. What letter of the alphabet do you hear in the beginning of the words Bumblebee and Bunny? B -b Bumblebee, Bunny. What letter makes the B, -b sound? Did you say B? Yeah, it's the letter B. You're so smart. Super job. Let's sing a song about Herman the Worm. Herman is a worm that gets really big from eating lots of fruit. Fruits and vegetables are really good for you. All right, let's sing this song. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, wee 
you, wee you. When along came Herman the Worm. He was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? I ate a grape. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, wee you, wee you. When along came Herman the Worm. He was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? I ate two strawberries. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, wee you, wee you. When along came Herman the Worm. He was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? I ate three apples. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, wee you, wee you. When along came Herman the Worm. He was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? I ate four oranges. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, wee you, wee you. When along came Herman the Worm. He was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? I ate five lemons. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, wee you, wee you. When along came Herman the Worm. He was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? He said, I burped. Excuse me. Here we have our letter B printable page. Yay, we have letter B right here. And we're gonna go sing the song first, our busy Brianna Bumblebee song, and then we'll color it. All right, let's go sing the song. Let's sing our busy Brianna Bumblebee song. The song goes to the tune of Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush, which sounds like this. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. Okay, and our song has actions. So the actions are to buzz like a bee. So we have little wings and we buzz them up and down really fast. Okay, and we can hear all those bee sounds in our song. B -b -b -b. Let's listen for those bee sounds when we sing. B -b -b. Okay, let's practice our song. I'm gonna show you how to do it first and then you can join me. So it goes like this. Busy Brianna Bumblebee buzzing behind a blackberry bush. Busy buzzing Bumblebee buzz, buzz, buzz. All right, do it with me this time. Busy Brianna Bumblebee buzzing behind a blackberry bush. Busy buzzing Bumblebee buzz, buzz, buzz. Super job. Whew, that was a lot of work singing, but you did a great job. Now we're gonna start coloring. We have our colors right here. I think I'm gonna start by coloring in my capital B or my big B. Hmm, ooh, I'm gonna use Blue, you know why I'm gonna use blue? Hmm, ba ba, ba ba ba, blue. That's why I'm gonna use blue because blue starts with the letter B too. Okay, coloring in our big letter B, our capital B. I can think of one other color that starts with the letter B. Another color that starts with the letter B is black. Ba ba. Black, b -b black. All right, let's use black for our little b, our lowercase b. Now we're gonna color our bumblebee. What color is a bumblebee? Hmm, yellow, yeah, any other colors? Yeah, maybe we'll use our black again for our bumblebee, yellow and black. But if you want to color your bumblebee a different color, go ahead and you can make it up. That'll be fun. All right, I'm gonna color the face yellow. Oops, I went outside the lines. Oh, that's okay, just keep going. 
and we're gonna want it to be a little stripey. So the next color we're gonna use is black on this part. Yellow, black, yellow, black. Yellow, black, yellow, black. Repeating, wait. If the colors are repeating yellow, black, yellow, black, what is that called? When we do something that's repeating, whether it's colors or something else, yellow, black, yellow, black, that makes a pattern. It's gonna make a pattern when we color all of this in, yellow, black, yellow, black. So we did yellow, what comes next in our pattern? Black, good job, that's right. And we just did black, so the next color is yellow, that's right. Ooh, okay, well what about the wings? Let's color the wings blue using our b -b blue color again. B is for blue. B -b blue. I'm gonna color the little feet in black too. Can you make the bus sound? Like this, ba 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 ba, ba ba blue, ba ba b, ba ba black, ba ba bumblebee. Coloring in our blackberries, and then the last thing we gotta do is color the bushes in behind. I'm just gonna use green. We did it, we colored our Busy Brianna Bumblebee page. Well done. We're at a honey farm and we're gonna see bees making honey here. There's some bees right over here at work. Come check out these beehives. There's so many bees everywhere. They're honeybees. Did you know that not all bees make honey? The best kind of bee for making honey is a honeybee, and so it's named a honeybee. Bumblebees make honey too, but they're not as good at it as honeybees are, so beekeepers really like to have honeybees to make all the honey, because they make the most honey of all the bees. These bees are working hard to make honey. Check the ones out over here. They've made a beehive out of this stump here. Inside the shop is this beehive, which has transparent casing, giving us the opportunity to observe what goes on inside the hive. You can see tons of bees moving around and the small cells that are each a hexagon shape where the bees bring honey to store it. Why do bees make honey? It's because it is food for the bees. They eat the honey they make. The beehive will also have one queen bee who lays eggs which become new bees for the hive. Have a look at the bees doorway to get outside. They need to get outside to go and collect pollen and nectar from flowers. They travel through this tube to go outside and come back in. Super fascinating! Inside the shop we can try different flavors of honey. <laughs> They are specialty flavors of honey. We take a toothpick. Mmm, what one do we want to try? Ooh, peach. Stick our toothpick in. Mmm, tastes a bit peachy. Let's try another one. 
There's maple, cinnamon, lavender. Ooh, a chocolate one. Ooh, it's even darker like chocolate. Ooh, yum. Did you know that when bees make honey, they use wax to help protect the honey in the hive? And we can also use beeswax for making things like candles. Ooh, this is a big candle. It was cool to check out this honey bee farm. I'm glad you came with me. Here we have a beehive with all these cells in hexagon shapes. All together they make what's called honeycomb. Okay, and what we have is bees that we're gonna find which color they match into. Each of these cells has a different color. First we have this bee and we gotta figure out which cell this bee belongs in. What color is it? What color is this bee? Yellow, yeah, this bee is yellow. So this bee goes in which cell? Can you tell me which cell it goes in? This one. Let's let the bee go in. Bzzz. We have another bee. What color is it? What color is this bee? Yeah, purple. Which cell in our honeycomb here is purple? Hmm, did you say this one? Yeah, that's right. Okay, the bee's gonna go in there, bzzz, go to sleep, have a nap. What color bee is this one now? Yeah, it's green. That's right, this one's green. What cell is green in our honeycomb here? This one? No. This one? Yes, okay, our bee's gonna go fly in there. Bzzz. Great job. What color bee is this one now? Did you say blue? You did? That's right, it's a blue bumblebee. Bzzz. Our bumblebee's actually blue, red, and all these other colors? No, but it's kind of cool to see pretend bumblebees in different colors. What color is this bumblebee? Oh, tricky. I think the last bumblebee was blue, but this bumblebee is also blue. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, sometimes you can have different kinds of blue or different kinds of a color. Sometimes they're darker and sometimes they're lighter. So here's a question for you then. Which bumblebee is darker and which one is lighter? Which one is the dark bumblebee? The dark blue bumblebee. This one! That's the dark blue one and this one's a bit lighter. So this is the light blue, light blue bumblebee and dark blue bumblebee. Whoa, that was really tricky. Okay, let's make sure the light blue bumblebee goes into the light blue cell and the dark blue bumblebee goes into the darker blue cell right in the middle there. Whoa, tricky business with these busy bees. Okay, what color is this bumblebee? Hmm. Yeah, it's red. Good work, okay. Where, left in our honeycomb here, do we have a red cell? Right here. Right you are. In you go, bumblebee. We have only one bumblebee left. What color is this bumblebee? Yeah, it is orange. Awesome, so our orange bumblebee flies into the last cell left, which is also orange. And all our bees are safe, back in the hive, going to have a nap. The 
itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. One more time. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. We're at a super cool park. It's bug themed. Check it out. We're gonna go explore. Come on. Look, a couple of ants. I see one, two, three ants. Hey, look up there. It's a beetle, a black beetle. Oh, look, a bumblebee. Hey, bumblebee. Hi. Can you take us around the park? Sure. Whoa, look at this bridge. Whoa, it's shaking a little bit. What's up here? Hey, look, a sign. Red, blue, checkered beetle crawling on the rose. I see some yellow pollen on your beetle toes. This beetle's got pollen on its toes, just like a bumblebee does. Whoa, we can see lots of things from up here. Such a cool park. Let's see what's on this side. Trees and other things to play on. Wow. Let's go back this way. Whoa. It's a bridge and a scary slide. Should we try it out? Oh, here we go. Hang on. Cool. Okay, we're going to go down this scary slide. Ready? Okay. Hang on. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that was a crazy slide. Hey, look, a giant snail. A snail's not a bug. And this is a giant one, but they're small. Normally, they're pretty small. What else can we see? Go this way. Hey, what's this? Speaking of snails, a snail and some counting here. Look, we can move the snail around. One, whoa, going around. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We counted to ten on this snail's shell. Whoa, look at this. That is a cool thing to climb. What's on this side? It's a beehive. And look, a bee. Beehives have this honeycomb shape which has six sides. It's a hexagon. Should we count the sides? One, two, three, four, five, six. Who works as hard as a bumblebee does? Nobody, but maybe your mother, because a bumblebee works every day of the week as she flies from one bloom to another. 
bees are known for being busy bee workers. Busy bees and hardworking creatures. Let's take a closer look at these bees. They have wings. One, two wings. They're yellow and this browny black gray color and stripes. Look, a giant dragonfly. Cool, it's got really big wings. And over here's a giant grasshopper. Whoa! It's not real, but it's a cool model of what a grasshopper looks like if it were giant. And giant grass blades. Look, giant ladybugs. It's red with spots. And next to it is a giant caterpillar. Hey, that's cool. And a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, but first it has to go in a cocoon to turn into a butterfly. And look, a wasp, kind of like a bee but it's not a bee, it's called a wasp. If we look over here, ooh, a centipede, lots of legs. Hey, come climb this with me. Whoa, this is a tricky bridge. Let's hold on to the rope. Go up, up, up. Ooh, we're up. We can see lots from up here. A neat looking slide. This rolls. All right, let's go down. Ready? Go! We're gonna go back up here and see what else we can find. Oh, look up there. It's a bat. This is supposed to be a hive for wasps. They have yellow and black stripes, just like bumblebees. What does this sign say? Don't hate me because I sting. Love me from a distance because I pollinate flowers, eat harmful insects, and make super cool paper nests. Looks like there's reasons to like wasps after all. What else is up here? Should we go down this way? Okay. Here we go. Should we go down here now? Okay, looks tricky. Hang on. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna jump. Whoa, that looks like a tricky way to go down. I don't think I can do that. So let's try here. Go down here. I'm gonna jump again. Whoa! Okay. Hey, let's try this wavy slide. Are you ready? One, two, three. Whoa, that was a crazy fun slide. Hey, look, it's a slug. Wow, what does the sign say? Hey, little sluggy, we've got a tip for you. Better eat your pretty mushroom before it turns into inky goo. A couple more caterpillars. I see one, two, three caterpillars. a lot of fun at this special Bugtopia park. Thanks for coming along and checking it out with me. B is for bug, b b bug, b b b bug. Zoom, 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 zoom. Let's practice writing the letter B. At the top of our page, let's put our hand here and draw a line down. 
Okay, now we need to draw two half circles or two bumps. Connecting in the middle, that's one. That's two, there's a B. This is our big B or our capital B. Let's draw our little B now. Okay, at the top of the page, next to our big B, we're gonna draw another line down. And now we need to do one round bump or one half circle from the middle of the line to the bottom. And there we have our big B and our little B. Great job. Here we have our letter B tracing page so that we can practice tracing the letter B. We have big B or capital B, which has these two bumps. And then we have little B or lowercase B with just one bump here. All right, let's start with our big B, our capital B, and we're gonna use the color b -b blue. We're gonna use blue, because blue starts with B. All right, the first thing we need to do is draw a line from the top down to the bottom right here. So let's do a line down. Woo, all right, good start. And then we're gonna do the first bump at the top. So we start at that same spot, and we go around, do a bump, connecting where the dotted line is in the middle. And then we can start back here where we left off and go bump again. Two little bumps for our big B. Let's practice again. Starting at the top, we go down. And then we do one bump and two bump to make our B. At the top, Go down, one bump, and another bump again. There we go, that's capital B. Let's try our lowercase b now. And for lowercase b, I'm gonna use blue again, but it's a different color blue. This is a light blue. I think the marker says turquoise, which is a fancy word for a bluey green, this light bluey green color. But this is a light blue, but blue. And we'll do our little B now. So we start at the top again. Seems like we start at the top for a lot of letters, but we will start at the top here. Go down. We end it at the bottom, that's good. And then we're gonna do a round shape, touching our line at the top. Go around, touch the dotted line at the middle and go around at the bottom for our lowercase b. Let's do another, starting at the top. Do a line down and go around for lowercase b. Last time that we're gonna try this, at the top we go down, drawing our straight line, and then we do like a circle, touching our line, lowercase b. Great job writing letter B with me. Let's make this rock into a bumblebee. We're gonna paint it. Okay, I've got the rock that we found outside, some paints, paint brushes, and some water. Let's get started. I cleaned off our rock so that it's ready to be painted, and I'm painting on top of this piece of paper so I don't get my table covered in paint. Now I'm gonna start with yellow and we're gonna paint the whole rock yellow to start with. The brush strokes of this brush kinda make the bee look like it's a little bit fuzzy, like a real bee. Okay, let's let that dry for a little bit. Now I'm gonna use black paint to add some stripes and some details on our bumblebee. Let's add two eyes. One, two, and I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit again. And now I'm gonna use white paint and add two wings for our bumblebee. And our bumblebee is finished. Wow, look at our little bumblebee. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. 
I'm gonna go find some nectar and pollen to make some honey. Bzzz. B is for butterfly. B, B, butterfly. B, 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 butterfly. Butterflies are a bug, and we can also call them an insect. Ooh, bug and insect, same thing. Ooh, let's go see some real butterflies. Come with me. We're at the zoo and we're gonna go check out the butterfly gardens and see some butterflies. Follow me. Right through here. There's one. Hey, check this out. It's the butterfly life cycle. Okay, you have a butterfly that lays an egg and then that egg hatches into larva and then the larva, which is like a caterpillar, becomes a chrysalis. It turns itself into something new with a chrysalis around it, and then it can turn into a butterfly. And then the life cycle starts over again. Check out all these chrysalises. These are all gonna turn into butterflies. Some of them already have come out as butterflies. There's some more on this side too. Have a look at this butterfly right here. That one's called an owl butterfly. It has dots on each of its wings that look like an eye. So then when its wings are open, it looks like an owl and it helps keep predators away. It looks like owl eyes. There are so many different kinds of butterflies with lots of colors, different shapes of wings. Look, here's an orange one. Remember not to touch a butterfly. Their wings are really fragile, like paper. But we can get a really close look at this butterfly. It has orange and yellow and brown on its wings. What letter does butterfly start with? Hmm. Did you say B? Yeah. Butterfly starts with the letter B, and they are insects just like bumblebees are insects. Both bumblebees and butterflies are insects. Cool. There's lots of cool tropical plants in here. Plants that like really hot temperatures, including a banana tree. Look at the bananas growing up there. And look at the banana tree's huge leaves. Look how big these leaves are. Whoa! Thanks for coming to the butterfly gardens with me. It was really cool seeing all these butterflies flying around. Okay, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna paint little bumblebees inside of this giant letter B. We're gonna use our thumb print for the bodies and then we'll add some details with paint brushes. Here we have some watercolor paints. Ooh, some pretty watercolor paints. And we're gonna need yellow and b -b black. Okay, I'm gonna use this paintbrush, get my brush a little bit wet, and then I'm gonna go for the yellow, and I'm gonna paint my thumb yellow. And I'm gonna do this a couple of times all over. We'll do the yellow thumbprints first. Boop, ooh. Boop. Nice, get some more paint on our thumb. This is so fun. I love painting. 
Truly, I really do love painting. Woo! Lots of little yellow thumbprints. Let's see how many we can fit in here. Boop. Boop. Maybe one more up here. All right, we fit in a ton of yellow thumbprints there. Now we gotta turn them into bumblebees. I'm gonna get my paintbrush a little bit wet and go for a black color now to add our details. We're gonna need a stripe or two. Let's do a stripe like that. Ooh, maybe a stripe back here. And little eye. Perfect, and maybe some antennas. And we could even add some feet. Hmm, something's missing from these bumblebees. What do you think could be missing? Maybe some wings? Yeah, we should add some wings here in a minute. This is pretty fun, adding the little details onto each of these little bumblebees. So cute. None of my bumblebees look perfect, but that's, that's just fine. Maybe there'll be one out of all these bumblebees that I'll like the most. Just like a thumbprint, nobody has the same thumbprint as anyone else. And just like these bumblebees, they're each unique. That means they're each one of a kind, not like anyone else. Just like you're not like anyone else, that makes you special. You're special. I'm thinking we'll do blue wings because B is for b -b blue. Add some blue wings for all these bumblebees. You know, I could almost be doing thumbprints or maybe pinky prints. Hmm, seems like the right size. Let's do pinky prints. Our littlest finger. Whoop. I kind of did this one funny, so we'll have to do it like that. It's the only one I painted that way. I was experimenting and then I decided I like the bees the other way. Oh, this one doesn't have any antennas. That's okay. Did we give them all wings? Looks like it. All done. Look at our bunch of bumblebees on this giant letter B. Turned out great. Thanks for helping me. Let's go on a bug hunt and do this bug puzzle. Okay, we've got a net right here with a string and a magnet to catch the bugs. We can pretend we're at a park. All right, let's go outside to the park. Ooh, and there's bugs here. Let's see what we catch first. We caught something. It looks like a caterpillar. It's a caterpillar with a long body and little feet. Okay, let's see where it goes in our puzzle. Right about here, that fits. Let's put our net out there again. See what we catch. We caught something again. It's a b -b butterfly and butterfly starts with B, b, -b butterfly. We caught a butterfly, an orange one. Let's see where it goes in our puzzle. Hmm. Anything look about the same shape? Maybe this one. Let's catch something again. <gasps> What is this one? What is this one? You're right, it's a ladybug. Ladybug, a red ladybug. Does it go here? Nope. Does it go here in this square shape? Nope. Hmm. Oh, it fits right there. Great job. Let's go searching again. And our net will catch a, another one. And this is a dragonfly with wings. Awesome. Let's put our dragonfly into our puzzle. 
We're searching again. <gasps> We've caught another one. Here's a bee, a ba ba bumblebee. Ba ba bumblebee. Let's put our bumblebee right there. Great work. We're searching again. This time over here and we've caught a grasshopper. Grasshoppers bounce and they hop and they can go really far. Grasshopper. We're searching again. <gasps> okay, I've got a tricky one for you. What is this one? If you said butterfly, I would think you were right, but this is a moth. Moths are like butterflies, but they come out at night and they fly around at night and they're nocturnal. That means they're awake at night. So this is a moth. And I think the thing that gives it away is the antennas and they're a bit fuzzy. They kind of look fluffy and wider. And yeah, moths have those bigger antennas. So I think that's a moth. We'll put it right there. They're like the butterflies of the night. Searching again, just a few more to find. <gasps> what could this be? Ooh, this is a tricky one too. It's another bug that we might find at night. It's a firefly. And the thing that tells us that this is a firefly is that the back of the firefly looks like a light. And so you might see a firefly flying in the night. What a cool thing that would be to see. So we're gonna put our firefly in our puzzle. Oh, maybe this way. Couple more to find. Woo! And what is this one? I bet you can get this one. What is that one? It's an ant crawling around on the ground. It's an ant. One more to go. And what is this one? A spider. We caught a spider. There we go. Great job with this bug hunting puzzle. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to join me for more of my alphabet series episodes with a new letter of the day and new theme for learning. Next up is letter C and learning about cars just visit the channel to find the playlist for my alphabet series. To find more resources and information about the show, visit the video description. If you want to support the show, be sure to subscribe and recommend it to others. See you next time!